Hi folks, I'm from Highlander.com, where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a quick update for the Galaxy S3 Sprint, Verizon, GTI 9300, and GTI 9305. I'm sorry, it's not available for AT&T T-Mobile. Uh, this is the AICP ROM with Android 5.1.1. I really like this ROM. Uh, I've used it on my Note 4 as a daily driver uh, during my whole vacation. I have no problems with it. Also on the S3, I've tested it. It works really well. Um, the only thing I've noticed um, with the camera, camera works flawless, um, except uh, if you try to take a video while making a, a video, it'll lock up if you hit the screen there. But the actual recording works just fine. Um, so just don't use that. Also, if you install Google Camera, you can go ahead and do a lens blur, panorama, uh, photosphere, and all that good stuff, which is very nice. Um, so camera working really well, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff working. This is actually a stable version according to the developers, and it is very, very stable. Uh, and it is very fast, great battery life. Uh, if you want customizations, AICP is king of customizations. If you go into AICP extras, you will find various stuff there. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of this stuff that's different from other ROMs. Uh, for notification drawer, if you have it stock, it's just going to take up the whole room. And it's even got a compass. How neat is that? I've, I've never seen a ROM with a compass in the short uh, in your status bar. You know, that's freaking awesome. Let me show you that all here. Um, show four tiles per row, make sure that's on. Uh, disable, enable, uh, enlarge first row, because otherwise it's just gonna take up a whole bunch of space. Seriously, why do we need it? Also, uh, let me go ahead and show you a heads up button. This is really cool. You know how with Lollipop you get notifications and it just sometimes you're playing games or something, watching movies, it's annoying. This will put this little button here and it will disable all of your notifications uh, when you don't want it. And then you can go ahead and toggle it back. This is the only ROM I've seen that has it, heads up button, adds it to the notification drawer. So that is really, really cool, I think. And of course, you can customize all of your tiles and this is where you can add the compass. And check out some of the stuff you can do. You can do ADB, ADB over network, ambient display, uh, expanded desktop, heads up, LTE. Uh, with the expanded desktop, you'll be able to toggle uh, you know, expand the desktop anytime you want to, you know, which is nice. See, now it's gone. Ah! So that is really cool. AICP has really put into those little things that other ROMs don't have. Um, AICP ROM is also available for many other phones, by the way. I forgot to mention. All right, that's notifications. Uh, heads up notifications. If you want further control, you can go ahead and uh, add blacklist for certain games. You know, just add it here, then you won't get notifications. Um, also, you have a bunch of um, customization for your system animations. Change your density. Uh, slim pie, this is where you can go ahead and customize all of your buttons. Change these to your favorite shortcuts if you want. Uh, great when you're jogging. Gesture anywhere if you want to add uh, some shortcuts. Right now it's going to my camera here. Uh, that's really cool. And I've changed my buttons so the menu button becomes recent because I got used to using my Note 4 and S6. Um, so you can do that, all of it down here. Oh, actually in the menu, main menu, go to buttons here. Uh, you can go ahead and customize your home button or your menu button here. I've got it changed. You can do short press and I still have the menu button by doing the long press. So I have two buttons and also you can set long press and double tap for the home button. Also you can enable uh, the soft keys and what that will do is it'll actually turn off your back button and menu button and now you can use uh, the soft keys just like a one plus one but your home button will still work um, just these buttons won't work now you'll have to use the soft buttons so that is kind of cool if your button's broken your menu button your back button this is a great way to revive uh, your old S3 alright there's a bunch of more stuff as you can see uh, my favorite is App Circle Bar. This is kind of cool. Go ahead and ah, actually, it's it's kind of um, clashing with my other uh, Slim Pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so I can show you better. There we go. 
App Circle sidebar, you can put your sh favorite shortcuts and all that. So this ROM does have everything you could ever think of. Kernel Auditor, you can use this. Um, I think there's no overclocking. We'll check it out real quick here. All right, if you want to change the maximum frequency, you can do it here. If you want to install a custom kernel and overclock it, but you don't need any overclocking. It's really fast, out of the box. Um, so it's a really nice ROM and nice uh, Android M preview style app drawer. You know, if you want the best and greatest with all of the customization, uh, definitely try this one out. It's also built on CM12.1, so you'll get all the features. You'll be able to change your theme if you want, um, just like CM12.1. It just has more things you can do. And very stable ROM, very fast. Um, you know, it's just gonna make your... I've seen people walk around these days with a Galaxy S3 and they're still running stock touch with like Jelly Bean or something. I'm like, damn. You're not getting the most out of it. By installing this ROM, it's just gonna make your phone 10 times better. So definitely check it out and do let me know what you think. Uh, but I think you'll like it. And also, of course, for Note 4, Note 3, I think uh, most phones is actually available AICP. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, as always, I'll stay on Android.